media. And then coming to your text field, this is the next field that is text field. That's where you have to type in your answer and then how to type the answer and how to make them realize that uh, this is a uh, uh, answer field and how to write and what are the instructions you can always click on this i option show instructions and then it will give you step by step process how to do and i already typed a few names of uh, these uh, fruits and vegetables and i know that uh, which is yellow after ripen is banana so i kept this inside my asterisk Okay, and let me also tell you when creating any kind of a assessment, whether it is a formative or a summative assessment, uh, you have to think about at what at what level of knowledge that you are providing. Okay, what learners will be able to do. Consider your Bloom's taxonomy too, right? So uh, this is a bit higher level. They have to first know which are the fruit names. First, they have to um, able to read uh, the spell out the words secondly uh, they have to identify fruits thirdly they should know that fruits are arrived and they change the colors and what are all those colors so it is a, a, a bit little higher than a basic level of that zero level of that bloom stack so from the knowledge level right so application level this is a kind of an application level question Okay, so I have given my uh, details over here in the text field. A task description is here. And the correct option is banana. So I kept that inside the asterisks. Come down and there is an overall feedback option. If you have two, three answers, correct options, then you can provide. And then it will automatically um, uh, add the percentage. If there are three or four of them, four of them are the correct options. Then you can add some ranges and then this, uh, you can ask them to distribute evenly. So if they score between 76 to Hundred that is almost all four of them or three of them, then uh, you will get one kind of a feedback you can provide. If it is between 50 and 75, you can provide a feedback. So like this, you can provide. Right now, I am not using uh, any of this because only one I have. So uh, I'm not giving even uh, any feedback, but that is not a good idea. So uh, what I'll do is, okay, zero to 50, that's 51 to Hundred. If I have any other option that will be good right now, that comes to my mind is banana. What is a fruit that turns yellow when it is ripened? Any any other name? So then we can provide this feedback. Okay, I'm just giving you an option here. Okay, guava. Guava, yes. I just want to know whether are you all in line? Yeah. <clears throat> so, need to rework and excellent. And then behavioral settings. This behavioral setting also differ from content to content of H5P, content types. Okay. So, whether to show a solution button or not whether to show score points or not, whether to give them an option to retry. That is, as an author, it's your choice. I've enabled all of them. Once I, I'm done, I can always click on this save option before I view the content. It's always good to save. So once I save it, content successfully saved, and then I can click on the view option. Even in between, you can always click on the view option to see your your content let me do the wrong ones see this is the feedback that i got right so let me retry okay so this is the feedback that we got so once we do this we can always download this okay or we can save it here in the cloud you can always edit it modify it change it or you can publicly publish it with a open license. Okay. Before that, let me tell you, when you click on this edit option, every HYP <clears throat> content type will have a metadata option next to the title, the very first title. 
Okay. If you have taken this information, a piece of paragraph from, for example, you're talking about nouns or pronouns, or you have taken that article from Wiki University or somebody that uh, is uh, sharing with the Creative Commons open license, then you can provide all that information that the source is from this. And you are the author here because here I will write my name as an author of this content. And then I have not taken it from anywhere. And then you can, you can uh, because many teachers say that they do some uh, basic uh, chemistry or a physics or, or some options. And they say that it is on my own. Yes, you're on your own. But then there will be definitely somewhere a source that is underlying, right? So I will give this as CC by. Again, while, she, while uh, checking this Creative Commons licenses optioning, this is again a huge subject, and you have to check the compatibility of the license. You can mix and remix. When you take any share-alike content, you have to share this entire content with CC by SA only. Remember that. Right now, I'm sharing it as CC by, and it's a metadata. And this metadata option will be there in some other types of content types. If it is <clears throat> many text fields or images or videos you have, then it will ask you for a, for example, if you have an image here, it will ask you to add a metadata of that particular image. Right now, I don't have. So now I will save it. Yeah, content successfully saved. Whenever you give an image, you, you always have to give a alternative text to that particular image. Okay, can you all save your content? Then I'll talk about deployment. Let me see the chat. I think my connection is a little wobbly. I'll stop my video for a while. Yes, mango is also can be taken. Fantastic. Yeah, can you all do this? Still save and view your content and check the feedback. If required, I will uh, show again step by step. I don't think it is required. You're all senior users of H5P. That's what I understood. Can you all do that? Because next step is whatever the content that you have created, you will be sharing with the in an interactive board with all of us. Okay. Only CH Srinivas Rao Garu says he's done. Then I will uh, proceed if at least at 10 S I'll see. I'll proceed to how to share this. Okay. You can ask me to recap. I can do that. So first, what you do is you go to, when you're logged in, you are in the dashboard. Okay. And then you'll click on this create new content. And this is your H5P editor. We are talking about mark the words. We clicked on that. And then we have given a title to it. Oh, okay. And then we have given a task description, what the user is supposed to do. That I have given identify fruit names that will be yellow while ripen. Click on them. 
and then answer i have given all the fruit names with the commas and then um added the correct options between the asterisks okay a feedback you can add the range and you can add the feedback and under behavioral settings you have these options whether to enable or disable once you have done that you click on the save button okay So this is my content, fruits. And please click on the fruit names that will be yellow when right. Then I can add one more range. Whenever you edit, you save it. Please don't do exactly uh, what I meant here. So you can create your subject area, subject specific options, okay? So now I will share uh, how to publish this, how to make it public also, and the keywords I can give. Fruits, fruit names. Okay. So I'll make it publicly available. So when I click on that enable button, you'll have a drop down option to check the kind of license that you want to provide. You remember I have given CC by option. Okay, I want to make sure that all the copyrights are cleared for this content in terms of services. And let me see the chat. Save option not active because you open your mark the words first, you fill in some details, then your save will be active. Uh, Rasina.mp. Yeah, am I clear on that? Let me share you again. Once you fill in all these details, your save will be active. <laughs> Yeah. For example, if you take a new one, see, this is not active, right? So when I take, for example, mark the words, see, definitely it will be active. But why I said fill in all the fields first is it's always a good idea. Maybe it'll, it, it's uh, your network is slow. Okay, sir. Attributing the file. Okay. First, you have to understand what is open license and what are the open licenses? What are the elements of open licenses? CC BY is any Creative Commons open license uh, requires an attribution definitely. Any kind of a Creative Commons license, it demands an attribution. Uh, CC BY is the most least or uh, what you call uh, restricted uh, license, that is most open license and least restricted license. Where, uh, wait, sir, you will, uh, Ramesh, sir, you will share your content on a Padlet. Please wait. Don't share any link here on the chat, please. Let's publicly view the content all together. 
Okay, let me complete this. So CC by SA is share alike. That means if the co content you are demanding to share again with the same kind of a license. For example, you have used any content from a CC by SA and then you are authoring a, uh, some interactivity based on it. Then you will be sharing again with a CC by SA option. Okay. And CC BY is least open because this is a very, very common one that I used here. I will show you how to remix it. If it is a CC BY and CC BY SA also, then you have to show the end license will be CC BY SA. Um, sir, uh, sir only, right? Sita Ramaya, sir. Yeah. Uh, sir, uh, open licensing is again a huge topic uh, and OERs. Uh, I hope you uh, you got my whatever the just that I briefed about. I will share some content on this too, uh, on open licenses uh, in the, at the, in the Q&A session at around five o'clock. Uh, you can have a look more uh, into it, okay? In any way, it is an open book, nothing is secret. You can always read about these licenses in Creative Commons site. Okay, I hope I'm clear. Yeah, great, thank you. So once you get it, how to share it with others? Okay, let me open my content on the fruits that I've just created. Right? I'll make it public. So I'll make it public with CC BY. And I'll say publish. So the moment I say publish, I'll see the link here, public link. Right? You can copy this link. And come to your Padlet activity and click on this plus sign, okay? Give your uh, subject name or your name if you are not logged in. It's always good idea. I will share it only uh, with the login people. Otherwise, it will be anonymous, okay? If you are login, see, for example, you can see the author name. It's not difficult to log into Padlet using your Google. I um, G Gmail account, you can log in and then uh, give a subject name. If you want to describe about your task, you can describe here. You can click on this link here and paste the link here and say go. And this is about fruits. Okay. Created as part of training. Okay. Okay. So I will publish it. Okay. So now I will share with you all this Padlet. Okay. It is password protected. I will give you the password also in the chat. This is the Padlet and the password is okay. This is the password. So now we will see here who will post. Let's see who will be the first one to post here. So any doubts now how to create mark the words? Uh, sky is the limit because uh, for creativity, I'll share one example with you. Uh, there was a lecturer who is uh, uh, sharing uh, some kind of a case study uh, about a case that is a criminal case. Uh, in Wikipedia, they have written a wonderful article, it seems. She used to share that article with her students. It's for grad level. And then when she got introduced to H5P in my one of the sessions, she thought that to convert that into a very interactive timeline so that their students, instead of reading a huge Wikipedia article, they can remember what happened when uh, on the timeline, interactive timeline. So 
uh, Marta words is just not about a language. It's about also you can use for math or science, creativity is the limit, just an example that we have taken here. And also, as I explained, you can think about uh, lots and hots, lower order thinking skills and higher order thinking skills too. Okay. Um, sharing procedure again. Okay, Ramesh sir. Uh, in the Lumi, fantastic. Yeah. So here, uh, I made it public. Before it was not public, right? So once I make it public, I have a pop-up to publish the content and select the attribution. And then I'll click on publish. And then I'll get this link. And I copy the link and I publish it. No problem. Once again, in brief, what? The mark the words. Ramu, sir, please share in the Padlet. Let everybody watch what you have done. Okay? Let all watch together. This is a Padlet. And... Okay, through the Padlet, I will share. And the Padlet password is, it is password protected. The password I have given here. Yeah, go to your open that Padlet. Okay, and then you better log in to Padlet with your Gmail so that your name will be nicely displayed. Otherwise, it will be anonymous. You click on this plus sign. Uh, if you if you're not logged in, please give on the subject line your name, and then uh, you write something about what you have uh, developed with the interactive content, and click on this attach link option, and then paste the URL and click on this go. That's it. On the right hand side arrow will come when you click on the link, and then you'll make it. The publish will be uh, enabled. Click on the publish. Okay. Nizamuddin, sir, please publish in the Padlet. So let's all explore. Okay. Let me see that newest first. I'll make the posts as uh, newest first. Okay. Annie Adal Arsan is the first. Okay. Okay. Okay, where to click on the post? There is a plus sign on below here. On the right hand side corner, you have a plus sign. Yeah, it better you write in the subjects only, uh, the subject name only, uh, your name, that will be better. Or at least now add a comment or I don't know whether uh, I made it comments to be possible. Okay, let us first start looking into it. If you log in nicely, your name will appear here. That's why I said, okay. Uh, Ramesh, sir. Did you post it here, Ramesh, sir? Yes. I don't see your name here. Yeah. Yes, I think. Padlet password I just gave. Again, I'm giving. Please see the chat. Okay. So let me open this. I'm checking Ramesh, sir's. Ah, this is a creative way of doing it, right? Um, identify the wrongly spelled words. Okay. You're testing my English. Maybe I am not that great. Oh, see, only one is correct, but still I am good. Let me see the solution. Oh, okay. Good, good idea. Good idea. 
Okay, let me see now. Uh, Ramu sir, please post in the Padlet, please. I'll go one by one there. Okay. Um, okay, good. Good. And uh, anonymous, I don't know who is this. Okay, I didn't, uh, same, okay, you posted twice. Okay. Now somebody find out the name of the diagram. Um, you posted an image instead of a URL. Please take a URL option and post it. Okay. Uh, my first H5P fruit theme. Hello. I don't know who is this. I will delete such kind of posts. This image also I'm deleting. And this is a uh, twice posted. Okay. Mark the red fruits. Okay. Everybody followed the same theme. Good. Apple can be green too. That's ambiguous. Hmm. Okay. Good. nouns okay when you provide these kind of things maybe you can always edit edit this Srinivas Sudha you can always edit this or the content type please try to be more uh, practical okay you please provide a paragraph to them inside a paragraph ask them to uh, identify first see while authoring content, it's always important to provide a proper instruction also. Okay, but still, I really like, uh, but all the nouns will start with capitals. We cannot miss such kind of um, things, right? So you please rework on this again, okay? Next, uh, yeah. Because uh, uh, when, when, when you log in, for example, and do things, uh, uh, when you name it, it depends on the name and also uh, the kind of a login information. Please don't po post any um, Lumi links inside the chat, please. It will be cumbersome and uh, clumsy to look into it. Okay. Factors of 20. Please post inside a Padlet. Okay. See, I don't know math. Okay. So, see this. I think you just asked a doubt. Is this yours, sir? How to publish in Padlet. I've been talking, talking, talking about this. I have given a Padlet link, sir. Uh, Nismuddin, sir. I have given a Padlet link. Please somebody repost it with a password. Please go to that Padlet. On the right-hand side down, you have a plus sign. You click on the plus sign and then provide your name in the subject area. And then what is that all about? You can write in the description. And then take the third button that is the link. Click on that link and provide your um, H5P activity that you have created in Lumi Cloud inside that link. Okay, let me show you. Go to Padlet, click on the plus sign and then give the name here or your name and this uh, subject or whatever the topic is and write something if you want. You can take this third button and then publish, uh, uh, paste that URL that you got and then click on go, that is arrow that you get. And this publish will be enabled. Click on the 
publish. Okay, ecosystems, somebody posted. Name the direction. Or in your account settings, it depends like how you set it. Oh, you, <laughs> you created a fill in the blanks also. Why don't you take uh, fill in the missing words that you have taken? Um, is it, uh, uh, did you take an advanced one or a basic one? But where is the, okay, unless you, uh, you have taken an immediate feedback option, right? Uh, Ramesh sir, can you, uh, uh, why uh, there is no check button here? It's because you have taken an immediate feedback option, right? I'll give all wrong options. But then these kind of, uh, um, without instructions, Okay, without instructions, so definitely they will get confused, the users, okay? Hmm. Work hard, okay. The feedback is provided after, uh, so each feedback will come, the feedback is immediate, and then after everything, you will provide an entire feedback. There is a difference between um, immediate feedback and overall feedback. You better uh, take care of those things. So you have to provide those instructions also here. But I really appreciate your enthusiasm, sir. Good. Okay. Now, uh, where are we? Name the directions we have seen. Very good. And comes Karma Tang. Okay. Identify the fruits from the green list who turns yellow and ripe. Huh. You can always. Uh, mm, you can always create your own, please. Okay, uh, but I really appreciate you have to start small. You just replicated it. You can always click on edit and modify it. Okay, and save it. Your link will be the same. Okay, next comes. Because I have to show you how a copy paste uh, option also works. I don't know how many of you uh, tried it. Okay. Mm. Two dimensional diagram. Okay, which of these which of these words represent the two dimensional diagram? That is the right way of giving instructions. Okay. Wow, well, I know. Okay, let me open the next one. Where are we? Mm -hmm. Already second project. <laughs> metals and non-metals. Okay, you have given some chemical compounds and then you're asking them to identify the metal. Okay, so you better give those instructions. Okay, there are so and so given and it's always good if you give as a paragraph. Good. Good. Mm. Ocean names, okay. I hope you all provided copyrights too. Okay. Okay, you have given this again inside your task description. That's why it is displaying like this. 
you please check that and also you have given your entire answer between your um, asterisks that's why it is showing wrongly you before you post you please better you test yourself okay there are seven messages let me see okay no no i'm not saying it is wrong sir ramesh sir immediate feedback it's always good but then you have to mind uh, to give uh, the instructions how to publish in Lumi or how to make it public in Lumi or how to publish in uh, Padlet or uh, Bhartama, sir. If it is how to publish in Padlet, I have given a Padlet link and there is a password for that in the chat. You please uh, log in there and then uh, or access that link and then take the plus. Okay. Plus sign on the right hand side on the Padlet. Okay. If you are talking about Lumi, then uh, once everything is uh, done, you saved it and you viewed it, you think it is good to go. And then enable this option to publish your content with the open license. Choose the license. And you, are, or you all are very well aware of open licenses. And then this link will appear. Take this link and go to Padlet and publish it. Okay. So quickly we'll wind up this and then we will go to parts of the computer. Very good. And let me check this. What is this number? Some anonymous number. Murti sir. From the identify the prime numbers. Okay. Okay. So then comes uh, parts of computer. Okay, yeah, you went and created um, multiple choice uh, question, right? So uh, it's a single choice actually. So you didn't check auto option. That's why it is displaying as um, check boxes over here. You have to recheck that, okay? Yeah, and uh, you're trying all the small options. That's very good actually. It's your first time maybe. You have to explore further. Okay, identify prime numbers. I'm just checking the functionality of how it is going. It's always good when you are providing a formative assessment to give them a show solution option too. Okay, and the last one, I think we have seen this. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's better if you create a story around it, okay? If you are using this kind of a interactivity. There is no hard and fast rule that you have to use it only. You have to. Um, where we have to find Padlet. I have already provided that Padlet link, okay? Coming back here, let me uh, share the Lumi application. And let us continue from here. I have shared a Padlet link, sir. Please uh, see the above. And also there is a password for the Padlet. If uh, good Samaritans are there, please do help me to post it again. Attendance link. Hmm. Uh, this is a hyp.org. Um, I just simply delete this. I don't want to encourage any org options here please okay we are using lumi cloud okay let me tell you there is a copy and paste and a replace option how this works this copy option works very well when you are in a cloud environment or sometimes even when you are using a desktop application also Again, it depends on the content type that you are using to paste it. For example, if you take an interactive video that you are building, in interactive video, you can add various types of interactions, interactivities. 
For example, you want to add the same mark the words of fruits that you made, which you think that you are making an interactive video based on fruits for the children, for the students. Then you want to add an interactivity over there. You want to take this mark the words. You need not to rebuild it. You just copy this and then you can paste it over there. How to do that? We'll see. Okay. Now I created this mark the words. I want to copy it. Okay. Now I'll go to my dashboard. I create a new content. And I want to create an interactive video. This is again a new content type. Um, the editor and editing options, they all will differ from the mark the words. Please observe keenly. This is an interactive video editor in H5P editor. And uh, as I said, next to title, there is a metadata option. The title as usual. Below that, we have three steps. That is to uh, embed the video. Next is to add interactions. These two are important. First, let us concentrate on these two. As I said earlier also, as I mentioned earlier also, um, it's always good to embed video from a streaming like a Vimeo Pro or a YouTube than uploading a video. When you upload a video, your content will be heavy and bulk to distribute. It is difficult. Okay. So now I found an interesting video on fruits with a Creative Commons license. How did I find? So I just searched for fruit for kids. And uh, when I say that in uh, YouTube, you can always have filters and apply Creative Commons. And then uh, uh, see, this just, just uh, for a demo purpose, I am using this. Um, because it is a fruit song, I'm just using it. But then whatever you do, it should be relevant. I just want to demo it, how you can copy paste activities, okay? So now uh, we will take, let me paste somewhere that co copy option. Of my interactive content somewhere. So, yeah, okay. So right now I want to take this video so I can click on share and copy the link. Below that, observe that the license, Creative Commons attribution, and always in YouTube, Creative Commons license will be unless otherwise specifically they mention it is CC by 3.0. Okay, when you click on this CC by, it's again a huge topic. <laughs> it's the, the CC by 3.0. So I'll take this video to use in my interactive video. So I just copied that link from share option of that YouTube. Okay, so here is edit copyright option. So I will give the sources that YouTube share alike. And what is the title of the video? It is fruit song, the rapper children. Okay, that is the title. Who is the author of that video? Amos Margaret Rapper. Okay, and now I will add the author. Sometimes they mention the year also. The YouTube license is CC BY, that is attribution 3.0. So this is how I give my video attribution. That is just below that, there is an edit copyright and add interactions. Now, somewhere here, I want to add an interaction. So, uh, I already have a mark the words interaction, which I think that it will go here. Okay, just imagine that it will go here in that interactive video. So I just copy it and I come here and there is a small paste button on top of the interactive video. In add interactions, these are all the on the top of the video are the interactions that you can add. And below are the seek bar and the bookmarks option and the submit button option that you 
provide. So right now, I'm not going so deep into it. What I want to explain is the functionality of copy and paste, how it works. So I'll click on paste and adjust this properly on the screen. If you want to edit this, how can you edit this mark the words? You don't have to go back to that mark the words. You can just double click it. And then you have that editing. See, first option is where to display this, whether to pause the video, to display this interaction as a button or as a poster. And then comes our mark the words. We know how to use mark the words. So once you are done, there is two more interesting options here, behavioral settings and adaptivity for these behavioral settings are for the mark the words and adaptivity is what, uh, a, what a user, that how the interaction will happen with the user. When the user or answers everything correct. That's fine. They can go forward. For example, you are providing some information about this, whatever the question that you asked, either it is a fill in the blank or a mark the word <clears throat> or drag drop, drag the words, whatever it is. If you are explaining that somewhere in the beginning, you know the time code, then what you can do is click on the action on wrong and then you can mention that code here. Sorry. Okay, but now I want to send them back to the beginning and then I don't want the user to opt out and continue. So I will give, please rewatch the video. Okay, and, uh, and now require full score. That means unless they answered this correctly, they cannot move forward. Then I say done and this is my interactivity. When I say save, title I haven't given, that is the error. I say save and I say view. Okay. Because I am the author, I'm able to move forward. But if I'm not the author, if I publish it and open it somewhere, then I have to rework okay that will be in yellow and okay let us see what is wrong with this Okay, now I say save. When I say make it public, it's easy by I accept all the conditions. When I publish it and open it, actually I should open in incognito. Let us see this. See, I'm not able to move. You need to answer all the questions correctly before going forward. So I'll go back and answer something wrong. Check it. You need to rewatch the video. See, just observe. The video went back, right? So this is how you use a copy-paste functionality. Yeah, I have not attempted, but then I want to make it public and attempt it so that uh, it won't take me to, uh, it won't uh, behave like as I am the admin of that content. Thank you, Sitara Maisel. Okay, yeah. So the functionality, what I want to explain here is when we go back in, in a editing mode, yeah, here, when we go back here, See, these are all the various types of interactions that we can add. When you learn all these, fill in the blanks, true or false, it'll be easy for you when you create interactive content or a course presentation or an interactive book or a column, right? That'll be easy for you. Now we will see how to 
reuse, how to repurpose the content. Am I clear on copy and paste option? Not only on an interactive video. If that content type supports any of these, then you can always paste them there, over there. Am I clear on this topic? Please answer. So let me see the chat. KK. KK means I don't know what is KK. Okay. In a video, how many interactions are allowed uh, uh, are censored? As many as you want, as many as the content demands, as many as the um, that your content demands. Also, see, if you say that, uh, if you have a four minute video, okay, uh, or a six minute video, and then the interaction depends on what kind of a material it is, what kind of a content it is, and then how much it is really required an interaction over there. An interaction doesn't mean only uh, a question and answer or testing a user. It can also be, while creating an interactive video, it can also be providing some extra information about that particular piece of information that you are sharing with um, your students. Okay. While creating any interactive, uh, for example, you are creating, mark the words in an interactive video. Okay, let me see that. Yeah, this is the sample. I'll have to delete it actually. And then uh, for an interactive video, and the metadata, we haven't filled it because we have taken the video from the source, right, or somewhere. And then it's always good share with CC by license and source. You have to provide that video uh, source information from the share option. Okay. And author is author of the content, not the video. Remember. Okay. Uh, and then the first step is to embed the video. This is the video. And you have to click on edit copyright and then you have to provide all the copyright information of the video and then click on add a video and then give that share link of that YouTube URL, not directly from the URL bar. And then click on add interactions. And here, these are all the various types of interactions that you can add. And each type of interaction will have its own editor. We have seen, for example, mark the words. Yeah. CC by required your own in the YouTube video. That is a good question. See, if even if it is a your own uh, video, you have to provide that license information for your video while you are uploading it to YouTube. Go to the settings and edit the video. We in the edit the video settings, you will have license to specify either YouTube standard license or Creative Commons license okay you have to specify sir it doesn't mean that if it is your own content if it is your own video um it will give you a cc by license it'll it'll be by default youtube standard license you have to apply cc by to your video if it is entirely yours not even a single image is used from anywhere remember that again licensing and license compatibility is a huge topic uh, so these are all the various types of interactions that you can provide. And because we already have uh, some interaction that is created, that is mark the words that we want to use it here. This is the mark the words. If you click on that again, it will take you to the entire editing process because I have something already ready. I just want to paste it. Where do you want to paste it in the video? It is a two minute, 29 second video. And then where do you want to place it exactly at 141? I wanted to pay, uh, paste that. So uh, I just 
I seeked it there wherever I want and I clicked on paste option and this is this appears and then I have to double click it and check all the settings also. And one more thing I want to tell you about this is there is a star button here. You can always add a submit screen at the some point wherever in the video so that whatever the interactions, whenever the interactions are over, then there will be a submit screen that is uh, that at 229 you will add a submit screen so the user will submit those answers so that learning management system or a website can record that uh, so you can analyze the results okay next comes our behavioral settings of the video so whether to auto play the video or a look the video look the video is not at all a good option actually but when situation demands we use that auto play is also not very good and uh, uh, if you have a bookmarks that are added in the video they can open it where you can add a bookmarks in the video is this is the option you can see wherever you want to add the bookmark and click on that bookmark and give a name so that what happens is if your video is a eight minute video and you are talking about two topics and then you want to break it between the topic and you want to provide a bookmark to the user where a user can go to that bookmark and watch especially that particular section you can use this bookmark option okay and then coming to adaptivity of the uh, quiz question or any uh, interaction that you give if you want to uh, create that adaptive learning atmosphere that unless they answer correct they cannot move forward but then remember while providing this kind of uh, um, interactions you better provide a very good uh, information and instructions beforehand to the user that this video is an interactive video where some questions will be asked in between you have to answer them unless you answer correct you cannot move forward and then at the end you have to submit all your answers by clicking on submit okay so let me double click this and then where you will see this adaptivity is just below behavioral setting of that particular interaction where you can set what happens when you uh, so when something goes wrong so you can uh, when when answers are wrong you can give a message to them and then you can enter the time code of that format in minutes and seconds so that the video will go back to that particular piece and then click on done once you are done you know how to publish it uh, with the open license and this is the link for that i hope i am clear about it and then uh, very briefly i will talk about your uh, um, Lumi desktop application also and then we will wind up and I'll take the questions from you. It is one more minute left. Um, let me share my desktop application. Let me share my entire screen so that uh, I can share the application. Uh, I will share the video of this, how to uh, download this Lumi uh, application. If you are an advanced user, you might have already downloaded. And this is the screen that appears. You click on this H5P editor. It will ask you to open existing H5P or a create a new H5P. I don't have any H5Ps to open. If you have, you can, uh, somebody asked me, I downloaded it. I don't know how to open it. You can have a Lumi application on your system and then you can open your existing H5Ps. You can create a new H5P, okay? And then similar editing atmosphere you will have. On top, you have view and edit options. And uh, I want to explain here one thing, important thing. You know how to edit the content, right? That's fine. But then once you are done with it, you want to click on file. And then there are options. When you save and save as, it will save as a H5P package file. So if you want to export it as a HTML file that your users can view with the browser, Format, you have to select all-in-one HTML, all-in-one, remember, okay? And then if you want to include a reporter, you can include otherwise show rights and permissions and then click on export now. The file will be saved as a HTML file. You can open it in the browser, okay? So let me uh, just show you that. 
So for example, I want to download this. Okay, I downloaded it. And now I will open it here, open. Any H5P. It's an interactive book actually. Is still downloading. Okay, for now, um, I can take. Uh, any content. Maybe this is my French book. Okay. But it'll take a lot of time. It's an interactive book. I opened it when I say export it as all in one. HTML. And when I say export it, and I'll save it on the desktop for now, just to show you. So it is successfully exported, it says, but then I don't see it. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'm just opening my existing H5Ps. I'm trying to. Okay, now I will export it as all-in-one HTML. Sample. Okay, directly it's going to my iCloud. So now I Just open that file. Yeah, this is my file. So this is my interactive video. So I have to check correct. Otherwise, it will take me back there. See, if you click on this rights of use, this is the attributions. Okay. Okay, content type is this. And uh, mark the words. See, for this, the information is this. For the video information is this, okay? I hope uh, I am clear about uh, creating H5P interactive content. Let me just uh, share my screen once again. Yeah, now you have seen all this and also like um, you have to plan well before you start, you have to what kind of assessment, whether it is a higher order thinking skill or a lower order thinking skill, what kind of assessment that you want to provide. If you want to provide a picture, how to search for pictures with open license. And then if there are any maths and chemistry symbols or equations are there, definitely H5P supports. You can always look into it and how to add uh, these kind of things. I will share this uh, entire presentation with you. You can have a look at it. And then these are all the H5P hands-on help files that will be given to you, okay? Even otherwise, H5P.org got wonderful uh, information for you, uh, the tutorials and all the options. And uh, about uh, H5P Lumi application download, the video that I will share with you, uh, using Lumi Cloud, I already uh, shared. And then how to uh, download Lumi application. This is the uh, video I will be sharing now in the chat box. And now the floor is all yours for questions. Okay, about anything about open educational resources or a Lumi application or a H5P tool or interactive content or any other that you are would like to ask about teaching learning process or about this presentation please do ask me this is the time for the last 10 minutes i think is for question answers 
yes i will share definitely uh, uh, i will share definitely right here and also with the cit team all the, my presentation then uh, i think they already have the presentation but still i will uh, share uh, with them So any, uh, I will share the presentation. That's not an issue. And please let me know if there is uh, any query regarding your... questions about Lumi or anything. <clears throat> Yeah, I shared the presentation link also here in the chat also. Yeah, but then if you ask me some doubts, then I will think that uh, some participated. Yeah, can we use the H5P HTML? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, not the HTML. Uh, let me uh, come down. Uh, HTML file is only to view, to send you to your users, to view them. Okay. Uh, and uh, if you want to open it in the Lumi online, you can save it as a H5P inside the Lumi, then open it here. No doubt about it. Practice, practice, practice. Uh, somebody is sharing. I don't know why. But I was very slow compared to my any other uh, days. It is very, it's up to you and uh, entire information, ocean of information is there. Um, and your Diksha platform also supports various kinds of uh, H5P activities. Every day, keep an hour for yourself only for uh, this. And uh, also make sure, don't reinvent the wheel. There are uh, options to um, search for OERs, even in H5P. So please download and respect the copyright and attribute them properly. See the compatibility chart of OERs that you use. Um, can we use Diksha video? If I'm not wrong, CIT team, please correct me. Diksha video content is shared with CC BY license, which I really appreciate being a Creative Commons advocate. Mm, one doubt here. Every time Lumi is asking to register. No, it, it never asks you. It only asks you login. Okay, how can we share, interact? It, thank you, thank you. Please don't post uh, questions I will miss. Okay, how can we share the interactive quiz on a multiple system at the same time? That is uh, with your uh, uh, HTML if you want, or if you have a learning management system, use it there. Uh, yeah, you can do it. Remind me, you know, the session a little bit tight. Okay. Um, Yeah, copyright, co copying is uh, like what I meant is, Sitarama, sir, what I meant copying and pasting is, uh, as I explained you, that periodic table also, actually, I should give you the interactive periodic table also, the link. Thanks for reminding me. Um, like uh, all the orange ones, orange uh, content type supports all these tasks also, but they're not all the tasks. It depends on the content type that you chose, that orange one, six of them. In one of them, interactive video supports mark the words. So I already have marked the words. I copied it and I pasted it wherever I needed in the video. Okay, so let me uh, share uh, one link with you all quickly before we wind up. If you go to H5P catalog, you have a lot of information about Creative Commons also.
yeah, here is the link for that uh, interactive link in the presentation i will uh, i added the link you can always click on that let me see the other chat questions yeah you need practice no doubt about it i've been uh, using hpp since maybe its inception it's been 8 years or 9 years Uh, Arun Molly, sir, a uh, lot of information already available online about H5P. Higher second, it's even at a university level. Sita Lakshmi, ma'am. Yeah. Because I have shared a very basic uh, things because I observed that there are teachers from uh, standard one, so I use. Okay, okay, okay. So in the desktop application, you can download them. If, if for example, you have created an hyp.org earlier, you can always click on reuse option and download them and then open it in your uh, Lumi uh, desktop application and modify. In all the videos, uh, if I'm not wrong on hyp.org, all the in content that is uh, shared in on hyp.org is with the uh, CC by SA, if I am not wrong, okay? Let me see examples and downloads. Let us see a course presentation. And uh, let me share my screen, how uh, these things look. Yeah, see, if you click on rights of use, see CC by SA. All the content or the, the documentation is available with CC by SA in uh, hyp.org. There is a small reuse button. When you click on that, you can download the content. Similarly, even in HYP catalog, okay, uh, for example, uh, this is an abstract noun. Somebody created this. And then rights of use, you can click and see. And then you can reuse button, you can download. And then when you are reusing it, you please provide the source and the licensing. If it is share alike, please use with the share alike. Uh, uh, Nagaraju, sir, any other and or ask about, I don't know, whether for H5P or any other things. I hope I'm clear. Sitaram, yes, sir, Nagaraju, sir, Android app, if anybody, because it is an open source, Somebody can come up with an app also. Okay. I don't, I'm not aware of anything, but I use these standard ones directly from H5P. Yeah. So any other questions? Use images very carefully and the videos if you are using in any of the content. Any more questions? The quietest group I have ever seen. Ah, okay. Sir, while creating, mark the words. If you want to add an asterisk, for example, your answer contains an asterisk, right? Asterisk, if you want to create that and then that dot is already included in your answer, then how will you give? That is the instruction given to you. Because always it considers between the asterisks is the correct word. If your answer contains that symbol, then how you give it? Yes, thank you. 
start small, you will reach heights. Thank you so much. So CIT team, am I on time? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> So that's great. And uh, definitely your sessions are uh, very useful. In fact, I'm also one of the person who learned H learned H5P from your session only okay. from SRG when I was new at CIT at that time. And I used it also and I found it really useful and interesting. 